If you're hacking and you know it, clap your hands. Hey guys, this is B-Run, and we're going to do some more Final Fantasy VI hacking tonight. So, tonight, I don't really have a specific plan. I'm kind of like in limbo in a couple of different areas. I've got the magic update kind of in process that I kind of put off for about a couple weeks. And I'm just kind of starting to get back into it now and kind of had a major breakthrough. So that that should hopefully start cooking pretty soon. Um, I can do some sprite work. It's nothing pressing, just some stuff for Sirius, which I showed off a couple weeks ago. Hey, Mad, good to see you. Glad you can make it. Hype level 99. All right. Cool, I'll take it. I know I get hyped about hacking. Um... I could do some map editing. That was really rough last time. And, but I have got to find some way to get my brain around like a process for doing it. Um, I think I did decide that I want to start measuring it out by the screens. I realized when I finally went in and looked at it that I was making everything way too big. Like, So I need to think about each screen and what I want to have on each screen. Problem is I don't have a real clear idea of what I want for the first major map. Um, I do have a good idea of the second major map I want to do, um, which is also going to be coming up in the near future. But again, I kind of have to get through that first one so I can so I can do it. Um, something else? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I saw on here that was it. Fanatic, yeah, Fanatic mentioned uh, Vargas's Blitz, which I had mentioned a few weeks ago and totally forgot about. So. Um, that would be a great thing to do tonight. We haven't done any ability editing on on here. And it's pretty graphical and we'll just be like bouncing in and out of the emulator, testing out different animations and find stuff that looks good. And um, I know there are at least a few people that hop in here that have done a fair amount of that. So I'd be happy to rip off any of your ideas. So let me know what you guys find or what knowledge you guys have because uh, ability editing is kind of like hit and miss. It's kind of, you just kind of mix and match stuff until something looks cool. So I've kind of got an idea for that. Um, so that's kind of what I'm leaning at, starting with. But how's everyone else doing tonight? How is everybody else doing today, and this week, and this month, and everything else? Work's been a little bit crazy for me. I've had a lot of different things kind of up in the air. I took this week to finally tackle a problem that I've kind of been putting off. And um, as soon as I started it, like eight different other things have popped up that needed more immediate precedence. And so I had to actually get a couple classes moved around um, so that I could keep the batch of computers that I've got at my desk. So I've got a huge cluster of stuff. I've got stacks and stacks of computers at my desk at work. And so, so yeah, so that's been my week. Uh, <clears throat> but how's everybody else doing? <coughs> While I'm waiting for responses. Hey, Gene Attack, good to see you. Try to start work back up <coughs> ah cool well I'm glad to have you I'm very glad to have you so I've got a good plan for the first couple of um first couple of blitzes I think eye gouge sounds like the kind of thing Vargas would be prone to and it's a very basic move so that's kind of what I threw in for my pummel hey lady door awesome sauce Ooh, vacations Okay, I'm jealous. I did decide to take a few days off at the end of um, at the end of August to do some stuff with the family, <coughs> but uh, but that is not seven days away. Jealousness. Are you going anywhere? Let me know what you're doing. Um. So yeah. So Vargas. So eye gouge seems like that'll be pretty simple. It seems like a good starter. And then I want to use, like, uh, I'm trying to trying to actually use his abilities from the Vargas battle. So there's Blizzard Fist and Gale Cut. Um, but Blizzard Fist doesn't really fit unless I do the expanded uh, ability names patch. Hacking, coding, reading. Cool. That sounds like a good vacation. Um, so I, I'm leaning towards Gale Cut even though it's an ability that already exists, like definitely exists, I might just move it up and uh, find a way to bump its 
power to regulate it where I think it should be. Or is Gale Cut percentage based? I don't remember. I don't remember. And then I was looking at kind of a counter. My original idea was to move um, Cyan's counter to the Blitz side instead of from Sword Tech. Because I don't have Sword Tech. My equivalent is Guts and it's not using counter. Um, but I might make some minor changes to it. I haven't decided yet. My first idea was um, Hamido from Final Fantasy Tactics, if you guys have ever played that. Has kind of like a preemptive strike kind of thing. But that looking into that, that might be a little bit tough to code. But again, that'll be pretty simple animation-wise because it's just going to be like a... In fact, I might use that as the... You might use the pummel animation for that because I'm going to have to use that at some point. Um, Chakra, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking some restorative thing. I don't know what, though. I think Chakra is what they used for um, Sabins in the retranslation. So I may have to rename that or do something else. And then Guard Break right here is one that I was thinking of using um, either partial, pen pen partial armor penetration, which anyone who has followed um, or has looked up or checked out or whatever else, my custom monster AI patch will have seen that I, what are you doing? Why are you back there? There we go. We'll know that I used these unused bits over here to add some additional functionality. So this one right here allows abilities in Children of Vector to break the damage cap. So they can get up to uh, 29,000 damage instead of 9,000, know, or up to 30,000 damage instead of 10,000, I guess. And then the bottom four here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, are um, partial defense ignoring. So that way things don't become trivialized by, um, by the ignore defense stuff. Like, I want the defensive stats to matter, but at the same time, not be the be-all, end-all, because if you built your character right in vanilla, you could basically not get hurt. So, so I'm finding ways around that, so I'm giving some some uh, control over that. So I was thinking about doing something with, like, a guard break kind of move that would have some damage penetration and then move him into that advanced status that we talked about in a previous... Um, in a previous one, which that's another thing I could work on, but that'd be another coding thing. And I'm kind of like neck deep in coding projects right now. <laughs> so let me get the magic update down and complete trance, which I was waiting to finish the magic update for just because I was going back to set L'Oreal's magic, his, her MP to show, even though she doesn't have the magic command, etc., etc., etc. So... Let me get through a couple other things and then I'll get back and we'll do advance at some point on stream because that'll be a fun one. That'll be a good one. But anyway, um, and then I need a couple more ideas. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what to use. And uh, his final one is, is going to be Bum Rush because um, how could he not meet his father at some point? So that will be his thing. So that's kind of my plan. And so I will... Uh, so I'm going to go in and, and tinker around with some of that stuff. In fact, I believe I already started renaming stuff in here. Oh, no, I didn't, because it all still says everything. And I also need to come up with uh, button commands. So if anyone wants to make suggestions, I'm open to suggestions for button combinations for um, Vargas's Blitz attacks. All right, so let's rename this. And hey, I thought I should just be able to type. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I in the right one? I'm in the description. That's not what I want. I want to rename this. I gouge. Oh, wait, how do you spell gouge? Okay. Well, then let's do it like this. I gouge. Bam. All right, and you are not going to ignore defense. You are not going to ignore defense. Um... But maybe we'll give it partial. Wait, shoot. I don't remember which one's the lower one. I know it's like, it's 50, 25, 12.5, 7.25. Oh, not 7.25, 6.25. 6 
Um, but I don't remember if it's S in ascending order or descending order. I gotta check that. Uh, I can check that on the form. Do do do. This be a plug for my patch. Go download my patch. It works. It does cool things. Actually, Matt, do you have any statistics on how many people come through the site? Because I feel like the site has been super dead for like a month. And I know that there are other people that like pop in and they'll say something and they talk about how they do stuff. But I have no idea if that's actually true. And so I just kind of, I kind of wonder how many people actually come through here and do any of this stuff. I could actually, actually go check and see how many people downloaded it. Yeah. All right, where is it? So 6.25 is at the top and 50% 50 50 is at the bottom. So yeah. So yeah. So I can make it ignore a little bit of defense. Not much. And I can adjust the power later. Balancing comes later, really. Hey, Locker, be good to see you. Glad you can make it tonight. We're going to look into some, um, some abilities. Some ability stuff. And I also need suggestions for uh, command inputs for Vargas's Blitz. And I'm sure you will bring out something totally hyperbolic and crazy and maybe have a secret meaning in there because that's what you normally do when I ask for advice, Lock Kirby. So let's get it over with and then we'll get to real suggestions. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 like, I like your activity in chat. You keep it interesting. All right, so I'm also going to have it add the blind status, which means I probably shouldn't make it too powerful. Um, blind is somewhere. Dark, that's what it's called here. Can I check that? There we go. There we go. All right, so eye gouge. Dark has 12.5%. Uh, What's that? 8% or um, 1 eighth. Ignores one eighth of the target's defense. That's totally arbitrary. Probably it's not going to mean anything. Um, especially at low levels when this is getting used. All right, eye gouge. That's in place. Uh, your next one is probably going to be gale cut. So I can probably cut and paste that. Where is gale cut? That's somewhere down here. Left, left. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I figured that. <laughs> Just go, 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 go. Why are you torrenting? This is a bad time. Bad time to do it. Gale cut. Gale cut, what do you do? Actually, Gale cut does like nothing. It just has some power. And it's magic. And it's wind which I like. Okay, I can work with that. It's full party, right? All right, I'll work with that. And it's just like a smaller, it's like a weaker version of, um, and you get it earlier than Fire Dance, so I'm okay with that. Bye-bye bandwidth. Man, I've been, I had some issues with Comcast. I had to have it out with them. Oh, man. I had to have it out with them. We've been having consistent problems with our internet for like a month. And it's been, uh, it's been really shoddy. And there have been some nights where it just goes out. And like I'll reboot the router and do the whole nine yards and, um, and won't get anything. Or it'll come up and it'll work a little bit and then it'll disappear again. And I was like racking my brain thinking it must be something on my side. Or maybe it's like maybe one of my neighbors using the internet or doing something because it's only happening at night, and so maybe there's some sort of activity that's happening. Because all the ta you know, all the all the taps for the for the line come off the same place. Hey, Kuga, glad you can make it. Happy hacking. Um, and so we've been having this intermittent problem with our internet, and <coughs> finally we heard that um, that a lot of people were having these problems, not just not just us. And so I called Comcast. I was like, look, we've been having this problem with our internet for like a month. And it's been causing issues and all this other junk. And I don't want to point any fingers, but 
this always seems to happen around the time that you guys start making calls to ask us to upgrade our service. Like literally, like a week before they call us to ask me to upgrade my service, my internet starts getting shoddy. And I don't know if they think maybe I'm going to be, you know, I said, I'm not, I'm not necessarily blaming anybody, but, and the guy got like really, really quiet and he started stuttering. He did not know what to say. And so I don't know if that's confirmation of anything, but I come to, came to find out after this that there's actually a lawsuit out on Comcast right now um, about their internet service. So, like, about them having shady practices or something like that. This is all secondhand information, so I don't know anything. Um, but it turns out they were able to fix my internet. Apparently there was some power event that happened on their side about a month ago that put out of sync a bunch of routers. Um, all across the eastern seaboard, like the entire up and down, all of us. Not maybe not all of us, but a lot of us. And um, and so, like literally in two minutes, he fixed it, and there was no problem whatsoever. And I haven't had any problems with my internet since then. So, so well. Anyway, so I had to have it out with them. I got I got a partial refund on my um, on my next bill. So if any of you guys are having the same problem. Check it out with your internet provider. Make sure it's not something on their side. And if it is something on their side, get your money. So, so yeah. You no longer sleep at night, Kuga. Aw. Uh, <laughs> I don't... <coughs> well, I hope you are interested in my stream. I thank you for showing up. Um, I hope that not sleeping isn't affecting you too much, but I am honored that you are not sleeping and being here instead. All right, sorry, I'm catching up on chat, hold on. You don't have any statistics for that? That's fine. Hey, Fnatic, good to see you. Oh, really? Makes fun of Comcast? What channel is that? I might have to check it out. Yes, be run as a bot today. Yikes. I think we already knew Mad was a troll, though, so... Can't really blame him for that one. You kind of knew what you were getting into when you started talking to him. Oh, I've heard that name. Tio Joe, or Theo Joe, or whatever. I've heard that name. Does he make, like, fake how-tos, or is that someone else? I don't know. Oh, okay, it is. That's I literally saw that person this week. Random stuff on um on YouTube. That's funny. All right, well maybe I'll check it out. All right, so so actual hacking, the thing we're here to do today. All right, so I've got Gale cut, and I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. Isn't there a copy, or is that only in the animations that you can copy and paste? Oh, what a pain! What a pain! All right. Um, three, two, can't be dodged is the only thing over here, and the power is 15. Yep. So, Aura Bolt. No, 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 cancel, cancel, not there, here. Gale, cut. That, that. One, two, three, one, two. Nothing there, can't be dodged, and 15. And wind, not pearl, wind. All right, so that's scale cut, and oh, what's your description? What is your description, Gale cut? Where did I leave you? Man, I should have been paying attention to what the number was before I left. Finding abilities is the worst. Dun, 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 dun. All right, it's not a part of any of that stuff. It's not a part of any of that stuff. Gale cut. Would I come to check again? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, something. I came over here for a reason. Someone tell me why I came over here.
Um, I'm gonna I'm making a copy of Gale Cut in the Blitz for Vargas, um, and then I might take Gale Cut and turn it into a, a a different ability for monsters at a later point. Yep, that's actually exactly right, Kuga. Um, Doomfist, I'm thinking of making his like a desperation form. Uh, Blizzard Fist might get cut entirely just because the name is too long. Or I might just call it Blizzard, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of dancing around with that stuff. The problem is that Blizzard Fist and Gale Cut are both essentially AOEs, full party AOEs. And I can't like get one of them early and one of them late because that wouldn't make sense from a lore perspective. And so I'm basically, my idea is that I'm just going to make Blizzard Fist basically a one-time thing that he did, really. Um, who's munching on pizza? I want pizza. Someone order me pizza. I will give you my address and phone number and credit card number. But seriously, someone send me pizza to somewhere close, and then I'll go get it? I don't know. I want pizza. All right. Guido Pumpfest? What in the world is that? I have no idea what that is, and maybe I shouldn't ask, because Hugo's saying that that's disturbing. I want to see Vargas punch someone. That's what, that's what tonight is going to be. We're going to punch things. All right, um, why did I come all the way over here? Oh, I was going to look for the description. And why would there be a description? Because it's not an ability that gets used. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, wait, there's a battle quote thing, too, but I don't need that. I don't need that. And 230 is your number, so I can remember that for the future. Um, what kind of thing do they say for fire dance? Fire attack slams enemies, okay. So we're going to say this, wind attack slices enemies. I probably don't need to capitalize all of those words. How about that? Bam. Wind attack slices enemies. That's what we'll call. That's what we'll call it. Okay. Oh, uh, see, I'm not a huge buff on um, on five. Oh, the fist pump. Okay, I remember seeing. Um, okay, Archie and Gaia do that a lot when he was doing his run. I did. I was like in and out of it for. Uh, I, I I don't know. I don't keep up with five that much, but I remember that being okay. I remember that being a thing. Am I really choppy? I'm really choppy today. I keep getting little notices down at the bottom of my window telling me that my encoder my encoder is overloading or whatever, so my quality may suffer. Um but hopefully this might be might might be the uh last time I stream from this laptop. Probably not, but it might be. And I can't believe I didn't show you guys this yet. Hold on. Um da 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 Da, 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 computer stuff. This is my stuff for my new computer. Got my motherboard over here. And up there is my power supply and my cooling fan. Got wireless card, solid state drive, my case. My processor doesn't come until tomorrow, unfortunately. My processor will be in tomorrow, as well as um, I forgot to order thermal paste the first time around, so I had to get that for the um, for the heat sink for the fan. Because for some reason I just thought that that was going to be included, but no, no, it's not. All right, let me hop back to my window here and turn that back around so that hopefully you can see my face a little bit better, a little bit. So anyway, hopefully I will be working on a uh, more competent computer in the near future. 
that will not have overloading and choppiness on anything. I don't know. I think it works pretty well for the most part. I don't normally have problems when I stream. I don't know what's causing them tonight. And even then, it's really minor. <coughs> You're downloading every PS1 JRPG? <laughs> Holy cow. I used to really love um, Tales of Destiny. I had so many games that were based off of the idea of the swords that could, like, talk... All right, Gale Cut. All right, so we've got Gale Cut set. So I'm just going to do a couple here. Um, what do I have in place of Suplex? Did I have a thing? Oh, that was going to be my counter, and I'm just going to make it counter for now. I think it can just be a copy of... Um, I think it can just be a copy of Retort. Of course, I can make that second and Gale Cut third. I don't know. Um, the graphics card that I was going to get is the... Um, shoot. Do I have that written down somewhere? Um, PC to buy list. Why don't I have my, um, uh, I didn't save that on here, apparently. I don't remember. It's, um, it's something. I don't think it's AMD, though. It's, uh, GeForce, maybe? I don't know. It's a new GTX 1070 is the one I'm looking at, but I may only get the 970, depending on funds. So we'll see. We shall see. All right, so counter will be number three. And um, actually, let me open up another instance of this so I can find out what the, because I can just use the same thing. I don't know why I'm weird about stuff like this, but when I do the descriptions, I want them to sound like be modeled after the original. Because the thing is like with everything I'm doing with Children of Vector is that I want it to look like they could have been made by the same people, you know? So I want to use the same kind of, wording and naming schema dun, dun, da, 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 da. um retort should be right there right nope that's slash retort single counter attack that doesn't even make sense I means sort of single counter attack Maybe I should say single retorting attack, since the ability is already called counter. Actually, while I'm here, it would probably be beneficial to have two copies of this open so I can look at two abilities at once. And it's not even physical? Okay, well, Vargas is going to be physical. And I may up the power a little bit or something. Can't be dodged. Um, and I'm replacing like suplex or something, aren't I? I'll just leave it there for now. Because again, balancing comes later and nothing over here, I'm sure, right? And I've got to go down to retort. Now I'm going to have to redo some coding for that because it's, it's actually literally tied to sword tech. Um, but it does clear... It clears when um, their turn or oh, no wait no when they select a move. Shoot, I was looking at the code for this like two weeks ago. Oh, Final Fantasy joke! Final Fantasy joke! I get it. Oh man, isn't it weird being on like this really tiny inside community that gets all of these jokes? Like. I think of these kind of jokes all the time when I'm at work, and I'm like, oh, you wouldn't get it. You would look at me like I'm a crazy person. But like, <laughs> but you guys here like all know exactly what I'm talking about. <coughs> like on more than one on more than one occasion, I have wanted to reference 
like the convoluted plot of Final Fantasy Tactics, but I can't do that because like nobody's played that. Like most people have not played Final Fantasy Tactics. And so and half the people who have have no idea what even happened. Of course, so with the new re-releases, it's probably gotten a lot more attention. And incidentally, even with the old English, it's easier to understand. Yeah, War of the Lions was good. <laughs> you would, Lock Kirby. Especially if you say it in such a way that makes them feel like they should know what you're talking about. Just to see if you can get them to be like, oh, yeah. Has that ever happened? All right, so counter, that's, um, all right, that's three abilities. And then I don't know really what to do with, with those two. These might change. So what I'm going to do is I'll start with those three, because I'm pretty sure those are set in stone, more or less. So a weaker AoE than, than Fire Dance is what I'm going for, and then a counter. And I don't even know if I'll be able to... Um, get counter to work tonight without doing ASM coding, so. No! Whoa! Zaytrus! Score. Score. Good to see you. Glad you can make it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody sticks up for us. Make everyone else feel like they're stupid. All right, um, eye gouge, gale cut, counter. All right, think we can make think we, think we can make three abilities in an hour. I think so. These aren't really hard ones. In fact, gale cut, I don't even need to make crap. Do you think we can make two in an hour? If we can't, we've got problems. Uh, two thirty, I think, is what it was. Bam! I am good. Oh, I have to do it over here, so it doesn't matter. Two thirty, copy. And what was it, 96? Something like that. Fire Dance? No. 90 something. Why did you change back to Aura Bolt? What? Maybe I have to save it first. Because that's it right there. Actually, let me do that. Bam, bam. All right, so now, yeah, okay, now it has the right thing. It just needed uh, needed to be saved first. Because what it's doing is it's pulling from the saved location, and it pulls it independently of what it's got over here. That must be what's happening. All right, so Gale Cut. All right, Eye Gouge. So I need something simple. Is there is there like a dark looking effect just kind of almost like a splotch that appears over an attack let me go ahead and pull those up because i actually have um and my nose is like itching tonight i apologize if it looks like i'm picking my nose all night but like it just keeps itching uh spell graphics data is that the one yep 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 okay so i'm looking for something that's dark Okay, those are the palettes. I don't care about that. Dang it, why does this go up? So we're looking for a rather simple animation. So nothing with the background. Okay, so there's nothing with at least the word dark. Um, do, 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 do. Something like an eye gouge. Okay. So I'm cool with him like jumping up and doing something, but he may not jump all the way up because we've got pretty limited. We've got pretty limited um, animations that jump all the way to the enemy. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, the pummel animation for counter. Shoot. So I've already got that worked out. I don't even actually need anything for that. So let me do that. Now this is turning out easy. So I might have to come up with another one to do anyway. Pummel. And we're going to take you to counter. Except that's not what I need there. What I need it is I need it to be... 
over here. 93, 93. Oh, actually, it's probably our still that, isn't it? Yep. So pummel, not that. Hold on. Oh yeah, I gouge. Yeah, that. Going to counter and paste. Okay. All right. Well, I've got two, two of my three abilities down. Can we do one ability in an hour? Yeah, I know, right? Ah, stop hitting the wrong thing. What do I want? I want this up. That's what I want. All right, so bolts, that doesn't make any sense. Clock turning, no, that doesn't make any sense. Let's just scroll through some stuff. Let's see, what things involve... I know the steel animation has them jump. Like, I could, I mean, I could just do, like, the mug animation where he jumps up and then stands up and doesn't attack. It'd be a little bit slow looking, but not terrible. Um, and then if we could just change the effect instead of a, you know, a slash or taking whatever from the weapon, which you would probably do by default, considering it uses a weapon attack and that's the way it's coded. I could, I'm sure I could, I'm sure I could tinker with it. Um, flare takes too long to do anything. Cause I could, I could take an effect and make it dark by giving it a different palette. Oh, you like my turtles? Old school, man. I have not watched any of like the newer ones. I did watch, I did watch at one point both of the new movies just because I felt like I should, even though they were not good movies. I still watch them. Yeah. The Ninja Turtles will always be the Ninja Turtle of the early 90s. In fact, I um in fact my wife got me all three of the movies on Blu-ray, the old the uh old ones. So I'll have those forever. <laughs> I will never lose sight of the true Ninja Turtles. All right. All right, Reaper no. Spinning little dots converging on target. Oh, that's the uh That wouldn't be terrible. I don't think so though. Let's see if we find anything else. Bolt has the little balls. I don't think we're using any of that stuff. Um, bio, no, not really. Really, the old ones plus um, plus TMNT, the one that came out in like 2008 or nine or something like that, because that one was actually really good. That and that one, I believe, is was supposed to have actually taken place after the original three movies. So please tell me if that's what you're talking about, TMNT? Because that, that, that actually was really good. Bubbles, lightning bolt, crisscrossing beams. Man, all right, so what can I use? What can I use for like a dark effect? I guess it doesn't have to be a dark effect, but I want to have more than him just going like this and then psh, and then the guy going dark. I would like there to be some sort of something. Um, maybe I could use the little puffs of smoke from like the imp, from like the imp effect. I mean, that's not exactly the way the move would work. I was thinking, but like physically, that's not the way it would work. There would not be any actual smoke. And so that's why I was looking for something that was more representative. But, oh man, you have no idea. What was it, 2003? Is that really that when um, TMNT came out? Jeez. Oh man, the 90s ones were so good though. They were so good. You need to see them. Of course... 
The problem with recommending nostalgia stuff is that the person you're recommending it to obviously won't have nostalgia glasses. So, so take that with a grain of salt, but you have to see them. All right, arches, sphere. Kind of like a little ball over now. I'm trying to think of what that would look like. Clocks, slow. Oh, oh, oh. Is it haste? One of the animations um, actually creates an effect on the um, on the character, right? Is that slow or haste? Yeah, man, it was huge. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong game. Don't one of the spell effects... Hold on. Let me... Let me... Load up this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Because I know this has all of the things. By the way, this is coming along nicely. I kind of hit kind of hit a breakthrough figuring out there was some unused RAM. All right, so don't all disappear. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Um... I want to say it's slow. Where's regular slow? That has an effect on the actual sprite. Yeah, like something like that. I could work with something like that. I could work with something like that. We're slow. We'll let parts of the other two animations be used over allies, not the enemies. Not only the enemies, what? This is it right here, over the sprite only. So I might be able to use something like that. All right, so let me find the, um, let me find the thing for mug. Let me just get rid of this, goodbye. Which means I need the MDE editor. Um, no, just editors. Okay, MD in, in here, right? Yeah. All right, let me find the code for um, for mug. And so what I'll do is I'll do mug, and then I'll have that effect on it with like a darker palette, and maybe that'll look halfway decent. I don't know, but it'll give us a starting point. I do wanna, I, I did actually at some point, like I never played Turtles in Time growing up, like I didn't even know it was a thing. Um, but then I heard so much about it later. I actually have it on my computer somewhere. I just haven't actually gotten around to playing it. All right, uh, 14 byte animations, except I need to load something. So we're gonna load debug because I can do whatever the heck I want with that. Um, I believe that would fall under other. I believe that falls under other. All right, hopefully one of these will say mug. I think it does. You guys probably can't see that entirely. Let me bring that on there. Steel. Sword tech. What does steel have? 7B. All right, so let me see if there's another one that's very close to that. Come on, where's Mug? Does anyone else know another way to look up the animations for specific things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting, what's that? Oh, fire scheme, never mind. All right, and that's the end of that list. Um, shoot. Yeah, and I don't know what like half of that stuff is. All 
All right. All right. Well, um, maybe caster jumps with target who lands upside down. Suplex. That's not going to work. Caster jumps at enemy, makes two claw marks, and drops back to a. Okay, I could use that. I could use that. Especially for the two claw marks, because it'd be like, I gouge, yeah! Something like that. With the voice and everything. So I'll use, I'll use Shadow Fang here as my base. And then, um. And then see if I can get that other one to pop up. Alright. Um, so I gouge. Um, O two seven E, O one C six, and you've got a thing there, and I'll just leave that for now. I'll leave that for now. And then, what are your other things? Let me go back up to the top for Shadow Fang, so I can get all the rest of your data. Um, is that the sound effect? Yeah, sound. And this is byte 10, or 1, 0. These are just arg, yarg. Ah, I used to find that so confusing. All right. So the sound effect, which I can tinker with that later anyway. Um, 8B, which I should know what that is because that number pops up a lot when dealing with the magic list because that's where the lures start. It's 8B, 139. 139, and then byte 10 is 1B. In fact, having that particular, um, Byte one zero. Speed sixteen is fine. Actually might screw with um screw with the uh, effect that I wanted to have. But let's do slow and here it is. Zero one zero one eight E. Okay, and we're gonna give you kind of a darkish palette. I don't know what's actually going to be used. Actually, let's start with gray. It's like white gray. No, I don't want that. Give me something dark purple. Give me something purple. I don't know if any of these get reused, but I've already changed around so many abilities. I'm kind of just getting kind of stuck where this is gonna be what I do. Um, green's gonna make it look too poisony. I know there's a... That's darkish purple. Right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, this is a starting point. Um, I don't know if I need that ID3. But, I'll leave it in there for now. Um, and it's just using pommel for now. I'm gonna close this one. All right, you're saved. I don't have anything else open. I'm gonna close the MDE. All right. An animation one wouldn't be too hard. Actually, I will say this on stream. I'm really disappointed with the turnout from the spriting. Like so many people suggested the spriting contest. Although um, I did see Mike's suggestion about um, ooh rasp. Background circle on... Okay, yeah, let me try that. Let me try that instead. Was that 00A5? Come on, come on. Where was I? Here. 00A5. All right. No, not graphics. I always do that. Let's do that. Up here. 00A5. I'm going to keep that same palette on it, though. 
and see what we get. All right. I might have to change that byte 10 or byte 10. All right, let's open this back up. Line that up with the other one. All right, hopefully this isn't too loud for you guys. All right, let's see some abilities. I'm gonna get a save state going here. Ah, no, don't, Oh, My Lenovo adaptive keyboard. Oh man, I have to hit this like touch screen to switch over to the function keys. But if I hit it too many times, it'll skip past the function keys and I gotta go all the way around again. All right, that's a fine place to save. So. So anyway, I did see Mike's suggestion in Discord about extending it a week and I might do that. All right, here we go. Um, I think I did that right. I may have put the wrong input in. Come on. Oh my goodness. All right, what are we gonna do? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's it. We have not hit the magic formula just yet. Wow. Wow. Well, um, a lot of those are going to have to do with other things. Why do I always go to graphics? I always go to graphics when I'm trying to do the spell animations. All right, so what I'm going to do, first thing is I'm going to change this here to the one that is used in Rasp. That is my first plan. Um, let's go to Rasp again. And it is 1A. And see if that makes a difference. Sometimes that can make a huge difference all by itself. And I'm going to take that guy off. In fact, um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I did it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try to make sure my... All right, all right. Yes, I know you're gonna have to go through like eight attacks before you get to my ability. This looks like all the AI is basically the same, so it's not like I'm gonna get... All right, let's get something better. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna have to change the um, sound effect, obviously. Hopefully you guys aren't getting doubled sound, but I'm trying to hear. Did you do it? Oh, that's right, I have to put it in again. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, I can work with that. I'm, I'm gonna wait until those run out so that that way when I come back around to do this, I can save my state again. Um, that's not terrible. Um, the way he jumps past him seems kind of iffy for a kind of move like an eye gouge. But it's not bad. Oh yeah, I'm an eye monster. And basically any attack on on the little, what is it, a peeper? Is that what it's called? No, oh, deep eye? Yeah. Basically any attack on a deep eye is an eye gouge. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's funny. All right. In fact, I, I do like having the circle on it, too. Like, I think most of that stuff works. I went to graphics again, didn't I? Stop going to graphics. I know in my brain I'm thinking this is animation stuff. And so, like, I go straight to graphics. It always happens. 100% of the time. All right, so it's picking one of these colors over here. So I need to find one where that is, like, a purple. I mean, I could probably use, like, a dark blue. Like, that's really dark blue right there. That might actually work. That might actually work. Um, and I'm definitely going to use a different sound effect. I think I think the um, rasp animation might be calling that extra doo 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 sound. Um, so I'm not sure. Let me go back. Um, I also have documentation for the sound effects that I got from Lock Kirby, I think. 
I think he was the one that sent me that. And I just need like the, like just a. I don't think there's a squish noise. <laughs> I don't want to think of that. Um. Um. Is there just punch? Generic punch attack noise. There we go. And 33, but this is 33 hex, which means I have to convert it for 51. All right, all right, let's give that a shot. And that might be, um, that might be a good, a good starting point for us. Um, we're already on there. All right. Yeah, see, it's it's adding it's adding that that noise to it from the um. Oh, whoops! Yeah, I'll help if I did it right. From that one circle animation, because I kind of like the idea of that ball that's shrinking. It's like I don't know their field of vision going away. I don't know. Let me see if there's anything else where they jump at the target as well. Also. Um, let me go back over here. Jumps with target jumps at enemy. Spinning edge. Man, these the the um desperation attacks are gold mines when it comes to animation stuff. Like there's always cool stuff in there and they never got used. makes caster sprite spin in animation and adds sprite. Why are there 800 things at that, that one thing? Oh, wait. 12 and 13. Say what? I gouge. That must be these ones. I think that's those there. Makes caster sprite spin in animation and adds. Oh, 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 spinning edge where your uh, Celis jumps out. Um, incidentally, there's a move like that that doesn't use a sword. But if I don't use the short sword sprite. If I don't use the short sword sprite, then he could like jump out and like spin around and whack. That could be a thing. Doing these random custom animations can be so tedious. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's nice having something to work from. It's really nice. If I had to do all this without the help of anything, forget it. It just wouldn't happen. Tags additional sprites to be able to appear when the character spins. Um, all right, so let's let's do spinning edge. I'll probably get rid of the slashes and then over here I'll add this and not use the short sword sprite. I'll see what else I can use because it's obviously going to try to pull something. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, let me go back. Let me check, keep check uh, checking these things. Moogle Rush jumps at target and pummels it. Does it use the same thing as pummel? Zero zero six five. I think that is. All right, that's all the things. Oh, 8065, which is the same thing. I just, I'm not sure what that, I'm not sure what that top bit does. But I know that's actually the same animation. But that top bit 
I don't know if that's that signifies something. When you see over here when it's like eight something instead of zero something, I don't know what that bit's used for, but it's always the same animation as the one without the eight. And sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not there. So I don't know what that signifies, but that might be important. Same but more Koopo. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Shadow Fang wasn't bad. Shadow Fang really wasn't bad. Um, it just doesn't look very eye gougy to me. You'd think an eye gouge would be the kind of move that you would hit and then back up. Not hit while you're, like, going over the top of them or something like that, you know? Of course, I could always adapt Sidekick um, Sabin for... Um, now I'll use that for something that's way more cool than eye gouge. Because I could totally turn in, turn it into a sprite of, um, of Vargas coming forward with his hands. Like, do like a rushing punch. I'm not going to waste it on a stupid desperation attack. Which, there's a good chance those might get chopped for my game. For something more useful, like additional spells. But I don't know. I'm undecided currently. All right. Well, we made it half an hour. And we have not gotten through the one that we needed to do. So, so we may actually be pushing it on that. Can we do one in one hour? Sometimes they like fall right into place. I had one. In fact, I'll show you one that is really cool. I'll show you my favorite animation that I ever came up with. Um, even though I don't generally show it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's not going to be as cool with only two people, but... And it's different every time. And it always goes back into place. That's like my favorite animation that I ever came up with. Yeah, now that since this is a different configuration, of course Trample's gonna come and wipe him out, so there's only gonna be one person to hit, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what determines, like, what the movements are for it. Anyway. Like, sometimes you just have, like, cool stuff that just, like, falls into place. And I have another one um, that it actually it hasn't made a place in the game yet, but I've got the uh, animation for it recorded um, that I call Ultima Beam. It's basically a Magitek Ultima that also I thought was really solid. Like, it wasn't, like, super flashy like Dancing Blade is, but um, but it was definitely, like, solid. Anyway, Kyuga, you were looking for something to steal? I'm not going to show it to you, so you're going to have to figure it out from there. No, that was that was totally a fluke. This it's all just like sitting around for hours and just like trying stuff. Like exactly what I'm doing right here. Exactly what we've been doing for the last half hour. And um doing it. Like just getting it until you get it right. All right. All right. All right. If I could do something where I jumped up but it just didn't do this, like it just jumped up and like that one shot, that would be perfect. That's like that would be all I really need. Let me see what bite ten is on this. Maybe there's no, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably the one that doesn't do anything. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's lots of different abilities that do that. Not exactly blank, but it is kind of a common one. Let's see if I put Pummel in. No, because I'm using Pummel for counter already. You stuck with this. Oh my goodness. Well, you are missing out. You are missing out. Shouldn't be torrenting, man. Tisk. Shame on you. Shame on you. All right, let's think about this, guys. Let's think about this. Thinking. All right, what can we do? I'm fine with that animation jumping up. Um, of course, if I could find the... Um, Mirage look like oh is that it you didn't do anything if I could if I could find mug and I'm sure I can track it down I'm just not gonna be able to do it here oh goodness unfortunately I'm not gonna, I can't go find that you know what screw it hold on bing Yee! All right. Did you pause it there on purpose? <laughs> and I can tell because it's since it's full screen. Unless you, oh, you know, you never mind. You chopped that out of the um, you chopped that out of the thing. Never mind. Um. Well, I did mention a moment ago something called Ultima Beam. Take that for what you will. No further spoilers. Oh, he does dive at the enemy? Well, why doesn't it say that in the stinking description? It does not say that here. It says screen flashes, target shakes. Um, all right, let me, let me copy that and I'll just see what it looks like entirely. Um, eye gouge is going to be down at the very stinking bottom. I mean, uh, Mirager. Mirager. And we're just going to copy this whole thing and see if that works as a good starting point for us. Uh, 94. No, not cut. No, cancel. Not 94. 93. There we go. All right. All right, let's do it. So what's it do? Nah. Okay, there's something else that apparently I missed. Probably a bite. Actually, that's most of what I need. That That's almost it by itself. Um, that's just a, that's just like a bite one zero change. I hate saying one zero. I want to just say 10, but I know it's not 10. Of course I could still say 10. I could still say 20 and it just goes up from 29 to 20 a 20 B 20 C 20 D 20 E 20 F. And then it'd be easier to say. Um, no, you know what? I did copy that. So why does that do that? Because that should have the right bite. Maybe it missed out on something else. Maybe one of the things did not copy cor correctly. Or maybe it could be because he steps up to do it. Um, whereas if he was doing it normal, even though you would, that would make sense for him to be pushed even further back. Oh, that's because it's the end of the Blitz animation that's calling that. Whereas it's the animation for Mirager that jumps him back specifically into line to a specific location instead of where he jumped from. Okay. 
I gotta figure out a way around this. Didn't I have something if I needed to step up? I wanna say I had something for that. Thank you. Roger actually really works. Um, and what I'll do is I know I, well, I said I didn't wanna do like a, what am I doing? That's not the right place. I'll probably get rid of the screen flashes. Is there like a different, no, neither of those are a thing really. Huh. Let me see if I can change that byte. In fact, I'm just gonna change it to 09. In fact, that might have to do with the, um, the destination. The thing is that byte can be used for any number of things. So let's see what changes. Nothing. That didn't change a darn thing. Um, skim. All right. Let's chop this down to components. I'm fine with all that. Um, actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I will go ahead and change this back. I believe that's the punch sound. Okay, you know what? Just... All right. Yeah, this isn't changing anything. In fact, didn't even use the, um, did I not save it? Maybe I didn't save. It sure looks like I did. But you see it still made that same noise? Yeah, save, children of Vector. Children of Vector. I will find a way around this. Ah, stop it! No, not run. Not the right one. All right. Zero one D. I know that that will actually make it not work when I do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I want to see what it does. Of course I need to put in the right input. Literally, I can use either one of those and it does the same thing. Why are there two of, why? You guys are seeing this, right? No matter which one I do, it's actually doing the same thing. The animations aren't loaded beforehand. I've changed so many things at the, you know, at the same point. It's not like it's not working it's not like it's not saving is actually pulling the new information i think it's literally just liquid watch if i don't do anything it should actually do nothing okay maybe it is holy cow what is happening here Am I not saving to the, am I not playing the right game? Yeah, I'm in here. This is the same one I've been working with all night long. Maybe I need to, um, shoot, now I don't even remember what the, um, of course, it's, uh, is there one, was it D, oh, you know what? So that means all those other times I changed stuff that actually didn't do anything. So I'm gonna change that back to zero, zero on the sound effect and okay and save. Well, I just switch through everybody once and then do it. Cause all the other times I changed it, it worked just fine. 
Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Did I not reload it? No, I did reload it. Well, what in the world am I doing wrong? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Forget you. How many copies? Oh, I've got like eight copies of ZS Ness open. That might have something to do with it. Now let's try. It could be that it was using the same one that was loaded up already. Okay, that didn't do anything. Alright, closed. It's definitely closed this time. Animations. Oh, I was changing it on Mirager. I was changing it on the original. So, of course, nothing was going to happen. I've done that before, too. Alright, so first we're changing that and that. Oh, man, I feel silly. But you know what? I solved it in less than an hour. So, I'm alright. Okay, so that did not fix the jump back, but it did fix the sound. Which I'm cool with. Um, what can I do to add... No! No! I'm not giving you any more time. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, while I'm at it, though, why don't I go ahead and throw out, make sure Gale Cut's working. Um, what's that? S suplex? Just to s see it there. Um, and also I will check... Also, I will check counter. I think I need to recode some stuff for that. Since we're here. Counter is the same as... Shoot. Let's do this. Um, where are those in here? Battle? Blitz. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Your X, Y down up. Okay. I don't think this is going to work. It might just show the, do the animation. Yeah. All it's doing is the attack because um, I need to actually hard code that in. And I'm going to have to change the color of the fist. His much too pale an arm for Vargas. So that'll be his counter. And then... Gale Cut is using that currently. Which we have all seen Gale Cut. It's just want to make sure it's the same. What the heck? Did you see that? Um. I think I may have copied in the wrong thing for him. That is not actually the Gale Cut animation. I think I accidentally overrode it when I was doing something else, right? Oh yeah, I used that, but then it's totally messed up in some other way. I don't know what way, but it is. 230. Copy. Move back down to 94. And paste. Okay. Okay. Of course he won't be doing anything. I might have to see if I can add something like a praying sprite, like what, uh... Sabin does. Yeah. But if I can add like a little, if I can change this to a casting sprite there, which I might try to find some way to do. But those are basically work. Gale, what? 
<laughs> All right. All right, eye gouge. All right, those work for the most part. It's just a matter of getting eye gouged the way we want it. I don't like that he jumps back like that. What can I do to prevent that? I need someone who knows more about this stuff. I know someone went and actually decoded all of the, um, all of that stuff. I wonder if I could just add one that did a specific thing, like stepping up or something. Or I could take out certain parts of animations. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um. So where are we at? The thing is, the thing that jumps up that would be that would the Mirager one would be so good if it didn't come from freaking Blitz because it has that step up and then go and then step back. Um, there was a part of the animation that I did for L'Oreal that included stepping up, and it did have a step back, so maybe that wouldn't actually work. But what was it? Was it Flash or something? What do I have on here currently for her? For the trance. It's one of these. I think it's this one. Let's find out. You're not in here? Because I pulled you from something else. Oh, no, that was supposed to be the summoning one because I was tinkering with changing it. Uh, man. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. Hmm. Not Riot Blade. Doesn't doesn't Backblade jump at the person also? Doesn't Backblade also do that? In fact, I use I believe I use this exact animation for um, one of Wedge's abilities that I might replace. Because that would be that would be fine if that's if it is what I think it is. Except five one. So uh, no, that that is basically the entire animation is that one thing. So if I change that, because that's the one that's for like everything. All right, so I'll change it to the punch animation, even though that's going to sound weird, especially if you see a slash. But let's whatever. Let's go see. Let's go see. I could use that. I can use that. Of course I didn't do it, right? Because then it kind of looks like you're jumping in. You don't know what he's doing, but he jumps in and jumps back and it doesn't break. So... So that might be our winner. Even though it wasn't... It's not incidentally... You know, it's not actually custom. It's not exactly custom, but uh, might be what we go for. Oh, okay. So when you have the um, when you have the eight zero, wait, oh, wait, wait. Does eight zero tell it to look for ID three, or does that mean, or is it that's when it's used? Because because according to this, that's not always the case. It does occasionally use the eight zero when it's not in the um, the ID three, like here. It's using it's using that top bit right there, right there, and that's in the first one. Now, that makes me think that, but it does have an ID three, which is the same thing. Huh. Huh. Now see, this one doesn't do it. 
this one has an ID3, but it doesn't have anything over here. So what? And then this one doesn't use it, but this does. So there's a core. There's there's a correlation between the appearance of that bit and ID3, but I don't think it's necessarily that. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I was kind of hoping. <laughs> That's kind of what I was hoping. Now I do, I do like the way um, Backblade looks, and like I said, I'm gonna take that stuff out. I'm kind of disappointed that it's not. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that it's not more custom, and so maybe I'll see if there's something I can do to tinker with it. But maybe I'll change the. Uh, let's real quick. We've got five minutes left. We've got five minutes left. Um. Oh, see, and that's not doing anything. I'm pretty sure that's the one that they use when there's not really anything going on. Like, if I were to change this to, like, I don't know. Well, obviously, I can't make it something like that. I'm going to pick a random number here and see if anything changes. Experimentation. That's what we do here. Yeah, it doesn't even call doesn't even call that bite so it doesn't matter what I put in there the only other thing I could do would be to change these around I could add like regular hit marks here um, but the thing is at that point I'm just making it like fancier looking I need something to like dumb it down but there's no there's nothing wrong with it I'm just kind of annoyed that it's not custom like none of the three abilities ended up with custom moves we did some cool stuff like looking around but ultimately I didn't get to do anything new. Makes me sad. Yeah, it makes sense. In fact, I can almost I can almost justify that, you know, that slash mark just by the shape of it looks almost like an eye like being closed, like forced closed. Cuz it looks, you know, like the shape of an like an eyelid. So, I can I can get behind that. I just wish I had made it <laughs> rather than it just being there for me. Um, oh, did you guys say that like a long time ago? I'm just now noticing you guys talking about spamming it. I apologize. I got and got sucked into figuring this out. So I apologize. All right, so that doesn't get used at all. All right, well... All right, so we set up three abilities for Vargas today. I'll need to do some ASM coding to get um, Retort to work with Blitz instead of um, Sortec. But it shouldn't be too hard, I think. Maybe. Um, I just need to set something to jump to it. Yeah, so that's probably it for today. I gouge, gale cut, counter. I'm I'm pretty happy with the existence of those three. I still need to debate the other ones, and obviously it's all going to need power balancing later. But I think I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully next week I will be on my new computer, because that would be awesome. I'm going to try to build it this weekend. I mean, I'm going to build it this weekend. I'm not just going to try. I am going to succeed. I had freaking better succeed. Um... And then as far as a topic for next week, I don't know. Get into the mega thread for the hacking stream and throw some ideas out there because I'm willing to do just about anything. In fact, I could do some more spriting and I'll show you guys real quick. I did a little bit of work on Cirrus since the last time. Come on. I talked to you guys. I gave him a crouching sprite, which is actually based off of the merchant crouching sprite. Um, I just changed it to be his clothes. And I think I did one other one. Oh, I did his riding sprite at some point. So he's actually mostly done. Um, most of his hair transformations work well enough. This one I think I want to change. But the the couple sprites that are left are not that hard. So I could I could probably do this next week. But let me get let me know let me know what you guys think. And it's going to crash now.
Hopefully that will stop happening once I get my new computer up and running. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, so that's what we got. Get on the forums. Post something. And um, let's get let's get stuff more active, okay? All right, I'm counting on you guys. I cannot carry all of it myself. Thank you guys for coming out. I had a great time tonight. I was really happy with how many people showed up and how active chat was and what we did and all the other stuff. So tonight was great. I was really happy with it. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope to see you guys next week. And if not, I will see you guys on Discord and in the forums. And therefore, I wish you all happy hacking. Good night, guys, and have a good one.